when I began teaching with an iPad, one of the main reasons I did this was so that I could walk around the room, get the camera going, and I could be showing students work, right? On the fly. So typically what I do is I go take a picture of some of your notes. Now here's the problem. One time I took a picture of one of the attendees notes and it had their password for Apple ID. I felt really bad. So can I, am I allowed to take a picture of your notes? Nothing's yeah. going to, uh, all right. So I could do one of these, take a picture, and then now I can bring it up on my screen and I could leave it there. So if we want to share out student work, and have the, the discussions, like you said, having math, math talks, this makes it really easy to do so, okay? Now, some people might say, you know what though, but like, I wanna write on that. Does anyone ever wanna write on their iPad screen? <laughs> yep. I know it's supposed to be iTunes U, am I allowed to talk? Uh, yeah, okay, great. So I wanna talk about what I'm doing in my classroom, which is writing on the iPad screen. So I wanna make notes here, and I wanna say, you know what, you've got some great points here, but let's make it even better. So I can do a number of different things. A free app is called Skitch. All right, if I go and I just wanna show you what that looks like, Skitch. Okay, it is a free app. It's very limiting. There's not a lot you can do in there, but it's good to get you started if you just wanna be able to comment on some things. When I press Skitch, what it allows you to do is it allows you to take your images. Here's all my images. There's the last one I took. And I give it a click. It'll bring it up on the screen, and I've got a list. Here's my toolbar here along the side, and I can use the highlighter feature, and I can start highlighting in any color I want. Let's say we'll go with orange, and I'm just going to highlight here. That's not very thick. Let's make that thicker. Oops, sorry. Here's my thickness. Let's highlight life on earth oh that's actually blanking it out that's not my highlighter let's go to highlighter sorry there's your highlighter right there okay you can undo uh, you can go to your pen tool so you can actually have make notes and say great point and then zoom back out all right, you can make that thicker. You can do all kinds of different things, even grabbing shapes. So you can circle. Right, we've got arrows. So if you really want to draw someone's attention, right? This is great, especially if you're uh, science teachers out there, when you talk about uh, diagrams and naming things, you could have them take a picture out of their textbook or go online and Google whatever it is you're looking at. Give me something complex, a word I won't know that you'd want a diagram for. Mitochondria. Yes, mitochondria, bam, Google it, let's do it. You wanna do it? Can you spell it? M-I-T-O. Okay, here we go, ready? M-I-T-O-C-H-O-N-D. Right there, right? Oh, there it is. Let's give it a click. Now where you might have some problems is getting it where it's not labeled, but students could take any image off of Google uh, now, mind you, if I go back, I'm going to go mitochondria. You might be better off having your students click on images in Google. Now you've got all kinds of images. You definitely want to get one that doesn't have the labels. Look at this one. Conveniently, all the, the <laughs> places for labels are there. So we can go grab that guy. I'm going to go view image. And does anyone know how I can save this to my iPad so I can pull it up and do something with it? Anyone? Oh, I love this group. This is great. I love it because usually everyone's like, okay, I already oh, I know that. Or, you know, I've done some advanced workshops and people are like, ah, oh, this guy's boring. This is great. What, what you're going to do is you're going to tap, whoops, tap and hold on the image. And then it says save image. Where's it going to save it? It's going to save to your camera roll. So when I go to save image, now I'm going to go to my photos. I can go to my photos and there it would be. Okay, there it is. And that means I can now grab it in sketch from there as well. So I'm going to cancel this guy and I'm going to grab my new image, which is that guy. And here we go. 
Do do do. Now you might choose, in this case, because you're labeling something, you might choose to go with text. Um, does anyone know what that is? <laughs> right there, I don't. I know that. <laughs> anyone know anything on there? Uh, that may be matrix, I'm not sure. Well, let's call it that for today. <laughs> there we go, for today, and I can move it. So guess what? Student puts it there, and then you say, ooh, you're close, but it's actually right over there. So you can see how very quickly you can make this a little bit more interactive. Now, I don't know if you're like me, but when I'm in math class and there's a diagram to draw, we spend 15 minutes drawing the diagram and we haven't done anything yet, right? Like, it's like I'm drawing it. Here, you have a beautiful diagram. It is drawn and we did it in about a minute while I taught you guys how this could be done as well. So you can see some of those benefits from integrating that technology. So what you might want to do is you could challenge your students. You could provide the image and you can put it in your iTunes U course. The students grab that image and you make sure that that image doesn't look exactly like the image in the textbook. textbook. And now they've got to look at the one in the textbook and go, man, like it's flipped around or these things aren't all in the right spot. Now. What is this gap? 